So we're exactly one week out from the new fall 2020 Slammin' drop. We've gained a lot of new subscribers in the last six months, so a lot of you might not be familiar with what Slammin' is. Slammin' is my clothing brand that I started through this YouTube channel. Next week, I'm gonna have a video going live that talks about how I started this brand through my channel. This is by far the best drop that we have done to date, so be sure that you don't miss out. This one's a banger. Also, make sure you're following us on Instagram at Slammin' Worldwide and myself at D-A-L-E underscore D-O for up Updates on the drop. We're also doing a giveaway that ends this Sunday. Check the latest post on the Slammin' account to find out how you can enter. Here we are at the Bird's Nest, aka Tony Hawk's private warehouse, where he has his boom boom Hawk jam ramp that's just basically freshly layered in gator skins. I gotta take a look at it first. <laughs> Pretty, it's pretty tall. Pretty heavy. It's pretty fucking big, yeah. Are you gonna drop it off? I wanna say yes, but who knows? It's pretty, uh. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty fucking big. Yeah, it stinks a little bit. Good thing you can't smell anything still, right? My smell has not really come back ever since I got Corona. <laughs> really? Yeah. I got yeah, like same four with, months ago. Yeah. Same with same with our buddy Dan. Yeah. Still doesn't have a smell. So our buddy Pro Prolic, we went. It does. That's a symptom, right? Smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smell and taste. Losing smell and taste. So me, Joe Prolic, five other guys went paintballing. And I was there a, too. You were there. I was there. Dan was there, and I had a brand new mask. And Crowley was like, <laughs> I was like, you know, whatever. We've been friends and for like he 20 actually, years. He was the one Three days it. later, he had it. 14 days, later, or a week later, I got it, and it like, it took my asthma to here. I was in bed for a week, closed eyes. Another week flew, and then two weeks of like just no energy. So like full blown. Like I'm, I was FaceTiming with the doctors, like. You know, like, what should I do with my asthma? They would give me these steroids and stuff like that. Wait, I didn't know he coughed in your mask. Dude, yeah. that is such a dick move. <laughs> Dude. But I would have done the same thing to him. Right. You know, because we're best friends. Like, you know, we always mess with each other. And, like, yeah. he, we, didn't, we, we didn't even believe it was real. <laughs> Dude, I feel like everyone can take notes here during, like, your stretching and everything before. Yeah, I have a, I have a pretty strict regimen of stretching before I skate and after I skate. Um, it's basically just loosening up my hips. I got like old man hips. You know those, you know like the old Rottweilers? Yeah. You usually just put them down. Like, I should probably be put down. My hips are so bad. <laughs> I mean, hey, how old are you and you're still here? I mean, dog years? Dog years, yeah. Shit. Like a hundred.
Wow. That's so First thing you learn how to do is when you fall. Really? Like, yeah, you learn how to fall. That's, That's crazy. That's what you can fucking do. Dude, I don't know how to do that. Well, I mean, granted, if obviously, if you're I don't running skate. out of shit all the time, you're gonna try to run out of it and you probably get hurt. It's easier just to kind of set up. Basically, while you're falling, you get kind of like a cat like reflex to where, like, even if you're falling kind of torqued or twisted up, you learn how to like pause it, maybe hold your left leg still and then set up your right leg so that you can get back to your knees. So it's all about like, it's almost like cat like reflexes. Got it, got it. And instinct to jump to your knees instead of trying to run out. DeVille said you hit, you like, you break the fall kind of with your feet and then yeah. go to your knees? Yeah, you don't just jump to your knees, otherwise it'll fuck you, throw you back and back will just get free. Yeah, um, that's so interesting of, to me. A lot, of, a lot of compression going on, so you got kind of soften it. it by stepping with your foot to your knees. And it's kind of like a gradual like knee slide. And you don't ever, Ideally. you don't ever hyper extend your knee doing that. Sometimes you sit on your knee, or sometimes you sit on your ankle. A lot, of, you know, people break their legs because they they go to knee slide and they're twisted up and they wind up sitting on their shin bone and they break their ankle. So it happens. Yeah. So that's got to be the first thing you know how to. You gotta the learn. First thing you learn how to do is. Yeah. Okay, got it.
You can definitely drop in. You got this. Are you scared? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> scared of heights oh, or scared of like possibly? I don't know, man. I'm just the big like. Loud sound you're gonna make. I, I can't knee slide out, so no, I'm just like, like fucking tweak the knee or some shit. That's what scares me. I'm like thinking all the worst possible things. Yeah, you don't wanna do that. I know. Just don't even think about it. You've done it before. Yeah, I know, but that was like six years ago. But I did the box box one. I did the extension. You don't gotta ask him if it's the same size. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. Ready? Yep. Fuck, dude, I was literally gonna do it. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> God damn it. Why is this so bad right now? I don't think so. I don't think so. He's got a high on the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that you have to do it. <laughs> Maybe I do need a pump. Just, I, yeah, let me pump really quick. Yeah, too. Oh my fucking god, dude. You got it, man. What the hell? Get it! Oh, oh god, dude. You can't do that. I know, I know. There you go, now you got a an oh shit button. Get up there, let's do it. <laughs> Come on. I think we should call it before I fucking get her. Cause that's what I'm feeling like right now. All right, I'll take you, I'll take you to that other ramp and that'll be a good warm up. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I could just tail stall it. Next time. That's what I was saying. You that that's the yourself, that's your way up. Tail stall, baby. Tail stall, baby. That's how I learned it. How have you learned how to drop in? Yeah, I had to tail stall it before. And I was like, I know if I could tail stall. I, I remember like nailing two by fours for ramps for kids. I didn't do that, but literally, but that's oh. like skating smaller ramp. You just go skate right. a smaller ramp, and we would nail two by fours on ramps for to keep to teach kids how to drop in, and it. It kept them in, in rhythm at right. the same spot and they learned it, but you don't need that. For those that don't know, Bucky actually has a YouTube channel. You can find the link in the top of my description. So make sure you go over there, show him some love, and check out his channel.